So a friend recently asked me, you know, how do you get to stay in Bali for more than 30 days? Well, when you first land at the airport here, you have to do, you have to go to visa on arrival. And there's a little desk when you go through, if you're a foreigner, on the left-hand side, and people are sitting below it, so it's, uh, you really can't see them if you didn't know it was there. But that's really where you have to go to get your visa on arrival, and that is 35 US dollars to stay another 30 days. But it doesn't stop there. Um, you still have to come down here to Denpasar, and this is the immigration office here. But uh, the real key to do this, I think, simply is that you would hire someone. And uh, I think most people that are visiting here, they hire somebody. And it's basically a four-step process. And the cost varies. But let's say the cost is for this visa uh, extension uh, is approximately uh, $35 or $40 that you're going to pay someone. And the reason why that is they have to come down here four times and one time you have to come down. So they have to submit the paperwork, uh, they have to get the paperwork processed, and you have to come down here, they take a ticket, like in America, it'd be like going to the bakery. You would get a number and wait for them to call your number, then you would go in and do an interview. In the interview, they're gonna ask you, you know, what are you doing in Bali, uh, where are you staying, um, and they'll do your fingerprints, and they'll take your picture. And that is the process, so after they, and they, throughout all this time, which is about two weeks, they actually hold your passport, so you have to be mindful if you're going to uh, think about leaving that you really can't leave the country because they actually have your passport. And I guess they're doing some research, that part I'm unclear about. But the point is, now that I've just uh, finished up, I um, took my number, did my interview, they took my pictures and fingerprints, again, because I've done this, this is round two, is that they, um, it takes probably about four business days in the process of that paperwork, and then I will physically get my passport back. So for people that say, you know, I don't really want uh, them to have my passport, you always take a picture of your passport with your phone or make a photocopy of it. You actually have an extra copy. But uh, yeah, they hold your passport, I guess, to do some research. That part I'm not really clear about. But anyway, to do the simple math, you're going to come to Bali for 30 days if you're an American citizen, and then you're going to pay $35 for the VOA, Visa on Arrival, and then you're going to um, pay someone Usually, I mean, you can do it yourself, but it's time consuming and where I'm staying is about about one hour and ten minutes from here. And uh, so coming down here four times is uh, really painful where people are actually, that's their kind of job to do this um, uh, visa uh, processing, just like uh, in Hawaii, you know, people that do permit processing. So there's lots of people that do these kind of activities and that's their business and that's what they do really well. So let them do that really well. But for people that are... Um, Excuse me. For people that are um, maybe staying closer to the beach here, because I'm in Denpasar right now where the immigration office is, they might want to um, do it themselves. It's only maybe a short ride. But I think it's nice to uh, support the locals and let them um, uh, do what they do best, which is having these relationships here and they do this every day. So I saw the same person again that helped me out and they do a lot of the uh, process work because I think everything is a process. And I hope this is helpful. I look forward to seeing you in Bali sometime. And if I don't see you here, hopefully you come out here and have a great time and uh, enjoy the culture and the people and the heritage. Take care.